Mm. What do I need to get my cursor? Today we are going to review chapter one, line one. And uh, last time we already reviewed half of it. Today we are going to review the second half. 上一次呢，我们嗯复习的这个道路，道歉，走道，道理，一道。so it was on the orange block and also on the pink block. 可以, 可怜, 可怕, 可爱. So in the last session, we did not have time to go over the gray block. So today we are going to go over that. So that's the session. Oh, very good. So we're color coordinated. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Sister Iris. I so was not aware that. So today we are going to do part B. Part B today we focus on Fei Tang. And since we are studying Dao De Jing, so it's very important that we can pronounce Dao De Jing correctly. Right. So first, first pronunciation is Dao, which is the fourth intonation. Dao, Dao. And De is going up. De. The and Jing is flat. Jing is flat. Dao, the, the, Jing, Dao, the, Jing. And then uh, it's also important to pronounce Lao Zi's name correctly. Lao Zi is a uh, a lot of American they pronounce as Lao Zhu, which is which sounds funny, but I understand what they want to say. But the correct way to say it is the third intonation on, on both. Lao Zi. Lao Zi. Keep in mind it's a third intonation. Uh, Sister Iris, can we practice on this too? Sure, sure. Let me uh let me repeat that one more time. It's Dao De Jing. Uh Kang Ling go first. Dao De Jing. Good, good. Peter. Try Dao. Dao De Jing. Oh, very good. Very good. Both have very good pronunciation. Next one is Lao Zi. Lao Zi. Lao Zi. Kang Ling. Lao Zi. Peter. Lao Zi. Oh, very good. Good job, good job, good job. Okay, then we will continue. So in the last session, we review on the character of a Dao Qian. Wo Xiang Ni. So this is a formal way to say it, to apologize to your employer, to your superior, maybe to your grandfather, to your boss. But uh, if we want to apologize in a casual way to our friend, we will say, 对不起, 对不起. So the reason I want to bring this up is because last time we have a participant ask about the word Dao Qian. And I say that this word Qian, uh, maybe we can uh, practice this two uh, phrase before I go on. Sister Iris, let's pro, uh, practice on this one. 我向你道歉 and 对不起 Okay. 我向你道歉 let, let's do one at a time. Kang Ling. Mm. Peter. Okay, and then 对不起. Kang Ling. 对不起. Peter. 对不起. Good. Can we do one more time? 我向你道歉. 
，对不起，康林，我向你道歉，对不起。Good, Peter， 我向你道歉，对不起。对不起，对不起。Okay, good, good. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sister Iris. So, keep in mind we are going to focus on this word 道歉 which I have it here. 道歉 Last time I say that this character is like、uh, I owe you money. You owe me money. Money. Then we use this word 歉歉 But then, uh, uh, one participant asked a question, a great question about Juan. Juan, Juan, this word is happiness and joy. How can owing money be part of this Juan? How how can that be? So I I I thought that's a good question. So I want to use the time to explain it. So、hmm. here is the the transformation for the word Tian. Tian has、uh, three meaning, three meaning, and、uh, so the first one is what I was talking about. I owe you money. You owe me money. I don't have money to pay you, so I owe you. I don't have enough to pay you. So the first meaning is not sufficient, not enough. For example, after borrowing the property, money,、uh, maybe I. Mostly, it's money. <laughs> Have not yet returned. Then we will use this word "tian." Tian. Okay, so that's the most common usage. And number two is the. It has the meaning of breathing, such as sighing and coughing, like. <sighs> <coughs> so it's something has to do with our breath. Has to do with our breath, so that we can see all this character here. So all this character、um, represent an expression of、uh, desperation, like、oh, I'm so tired, or <laughs> this word is coffee. <laughs> okay, so、um, so that's why you see this tin right here in these three character. So number three is has to do with this Juan. So Juan used the third meaning here. It's a、uh, that means with the feeling of tiredness and sleepiness, one yawns, which provide comforting sensation. So when we feel tired, we will go like, oh, and then we exhale that bad energy, right? So after we exhale that energy, how do we feel? We feel great, right? <laughs> so,、uh, let's see. So this means feeling a comforting, a joyful sensation after we yawn, such as you can see this picture here. Can you see? Can you see this person here is kneeling down, and then there's、uh, air coming out. So basically,、uh -huh. this is the. Pictogram for this character here, Tian. So it was the later scholar、uh, who who used this character for the meaning of joy. Therefore, we have Huan or Xin. So all these two character, it means joy. It means the same thing. So this one is the Simplified version. This one is the traditional version. Okay, so that's my explanation on the character Juan. Why does Juan has this owing money character here? Okay, okay, and thank you、good、for the great question because, last time. Yeah, good to know because I never thought about it, <laughs> and I never know until today. Yes, yes, and Kangli, how how do you feel about my answer? Sorry, 
Counting, uh, so that that's my answer for the caricature ah. of Juan. Perfect. Ah. Perfect. Thank no, you. Thank you. No, thank no, no. You. See, uh, <laughs> thank you to you because uh, I understand more now about uh, the meaning of see uh, Juan or or uh, apologize. So uh, yeah, I understand now more. Yes. 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 Oh yeah. And um, this word Dao Qian Dao Qian also have this one. So mm. it's like we I owe you an apology. So mm. this has the meaning of owing. Yeah. So when that that's the first one. Yeah. Yeah. But when we say xi huan, that's the second one. And then yeah. if somebody's coughing, we can see it's this one here, the second one. Okay, so let's move on. Um I, I'm sorry, before we move on, let's practice the word dao qian. Dao Qian. That's good. Okay, let's move on. Uh, so the session for today, primary, we are going to focus on Fei Chang. Fei Chang. This is uh, derived from the chapter one, line one. Dao Ke Dao. Fei Chang Dao. Dao Ke Dao. Fei Chang Dao. Sister Iris, can you practice on this too? I mean, on this sentence? Sure, sure. Um, follow after me. Dao ke dao, fei chang dao. Kang Ling, you want to go first? Mm -hmm. Dao ke dao, fei chang dao. Good, Peter. Dao ke dao, fei chang dao. Dao ke dao. Repeat one more time. Dao ke dao. Fei chang dao. Okay, good. Good. Thank you, Sister Iris. Thank you, everyone. So today we are going to study Fei chang, and um, the first two bucks is um, for the character of Fei. The later four is for the character of Chang. So the first one is Fei Chang, Fei Zhou, Zheng Chang, Chang Chang, Jing Chang, Ping Chang. So let's um, talk about the first box, Fei Chang. So what is Chang? The word Chang, it means normal, as you can see here, normal. And Fei is not. So something not normal is what? It's out of ordinary. For example, I usually wear t-shirt at home. And if I go to a party and I wear a beautiful dress, that will be not normal, right? So that means very and exceptional. If today I see Peter wearing a tuxedo, that means Peter is Fei Chang Suai. It's very handsome because Peter never wear a tuxedo. So it's something out of ordinary. That's Fei Chang. Okay, Fei Chang is, again, it's not normal, which translates as very exceptional. For example, Zhe ge. That means this, 生日, birthday, 蛋糕, 这个生日, 蛋糕. So we don't put is because uh, uh, this is just uh, for English, but we will skip this one. For Chinese, we seldom use 是 in our sentence. 这个生日蛋糕非常漂亮. Can you see? It's out of ordinary. It's very beautiful. It's not a homemade cake. 这个生日蛋糕非常漂亮. So another word to substitute 非常 is we can use 很, 很. So these are like a synonym. And of course, uh, if we want to use this word, we can uh, put 
an adjective because the way you look at this is this is adverb and this is all an adjective. Or we can put action to it. So, 漂亮,可爱, 好吃. If somebody is eating the food very fast, we can say he eats 非常快. 他吃东西很快. Okay, so, um, so that's how we use the word 非常. After the adverb, we can put verb or adjective. Again, 这个生日蛋糕非常漂亮. Or we can say 很可爱. Or 很好吃. Sister Iris? Okay, let's practice and um, follow after me. 这个生日蛋糕很好吃. Kang Ling? 这个生日蛋糕很好吃. Okay, Peter, do you want me to repeat one more time or are you okay? I want to give it a shot and see how it do. Oh, okay, sure, go ahead. 这个生日蛋糕很好吃. Oh, good. Very good. And uh, let's do one more. 这个生日蛋糕非常漂亮. Kang Ling. 这个生日蛋糕非常漂亮. Good, Peter. 这个生日蛋糕非常漂亮. Good, good. And... Let's move on next. Or do we practice 可爱 also? Yes, yes, please. Okay. 这个生日蛋糕很可爱. Kang Ling. 这个生日蛋糕很可爱. Okay, good. Peter. 这个生日 蛋糕很可爱. Oh, good. Very good. Everyone good. is doing very good. Okay, good. Then we, we move on. Um, so uh, as you notice that here, we have the character of ge. Ge. So when do we use ge? Last time, one participant asked, when do we use ge? <laughs> Okay, so here I have uh, the information here. As we discussed previously, 这个生日蛋糕. So when we use ge as a, uh, as a unit, as you can see here. Um, so let me go over here first. When we say this fish, we say 这条鱼. 这条鱼, 这条鱼, and then when we say, when we refer to our body part, we will say 这只眼睛, 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 眼睛, uh, we especially use 只, because 只 is uh, slender. For body part. Um, but we can say um, 这, 这个鼻子, 这个鼻子, so sometimes what I'm saying is that sometimes if you don't know which word to choose, you can always use, use this one. 这个. For example, we, we should say 这只眼睛, but if you forgot how to, when to use it and how to use it, if you use the character of ge, it will never go wrong. Um, yeah. So people, people will understand still if you if even you do that. Yeah. So correct. Thank you, Sister Iris. 这只手, 这只手, this is correct. But if you if somebody say 这个手, 这个手很痛, my arm hurts. 这个手, people will understand too. 这只猫, 
or oh, 这个猫. <laughs> Even the Taiwanese and Chinese, sometimes we are not so grammatically correct. We will just refer to 这个猫 or 这个狗 or 这只羊, 这个羊. So it's all okay. So let me repeat one more time. 这条鱼, 这只眼睛, 这只手, 这只猫, 这只狗, 这只羊. And the other way that you can say is 这个眼睛, 这个眼睛, using this general term. 这个手,这个手,这个猫,这个狗,这个羊, which people still can understand. Uh, Sister Iris, let's practice on this part, this part. Okay, um, so, okay, just one by one, right? 这条鱼, 康林, 这条鱼 Peter 这条鱼 这条鱼, 这条鱼. A little bit how yeah, It's going up 条, 条 yeah. How do I correct that? 这条鱼, Peter 这条鱼 no, it's a tiao yu. It's going up tiao. Okay. Uh, Try one more time. All right. Zhi tiao yu. A little better, but we can we can practice that again. And let me do the next one. Zhe zi yan jing kang ling. Zhe zi yan jing. 这只眼睛，眼睛，这只眼睛。Okay, okay, much better, Peter. 这只眼睛。Oh, good, good. Okay, 这只手，康林。这只手，这只手。one more time. Z Z Shao Sao. Okay. Z Z Z Z Z Sao. Z Z Sao. 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 So. Okay. Good. Peter. Z Z Sao. Oh, good. This mouse. Peter. This mouse. Good. This mouse. This mouse. This mouse. This Good. Zhe zi yang. Good, Peter. Zhe zi yang. Okay, let's do one more time. Zhe zi sao. Zhe zi sao. 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 Zhe zi sao. Sao. Peter. Oh, good, good. Looks like we can move on. Sister Joanna, you want me to move on to the next yeah, section? Can, can, can we do a uh, uh, substitute with zi with ge, like uh, 这个眼睛, 这个手, right? Because this oh, is sure. very common use. Or oh, okay. Can we say 这个鱼? It's okay, right? Uh, no, we should say 这条鱼. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So practice but, ge. I'm here. Okay. Uh, 这个眼睛, Kang Ling. 这个眼睛, 
Good, Peter. This eyeing. This eyeing. This eyeing. This eyeing. This eyeing. This eyeing. Um, do you want me to do because they don't call the mao? This mao is still. Sometimes I call this mao. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so when we say this goat, sometimes we say this goat, right? This goat is supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Then uh, we can move on. So the next one is um this person. 这个人，这个人，这张桌子，这张桌子，这张纸，这张纸，这张纸，这个蛋糕，这个蛋糕。Okay, let's practice. 这个人康林。这个人。Peter, good. 这个人。Good. 这张桌子。这张桌子。桌子。桌子。Okay, good. One more time. 这张桌子。这张桌子。Okay, Peter. 这张桌子。Good. 这张纸。这张纸。Peter. 这张纸。Good. 这个蛋糕。这个蛋糕。Good, Peter. 这个蛋糕。Good, good. We got that right. And let's move on to the next section. Okay. 这个, oh, do you want to go first? Yeah. Is, uh, uh, the yeah. next section is this one. 这个汉堡, so you can see we use ge a lot. 这个汉堡, 这个杯子, or we can say 这个手机, 这个手机, uh, anyway, 这个汉堡, 这个杯子, 这个玩具, 这个眼镜, this is all okay. Sister Iris? 这个汉堡, Kang Ling. 这个汉堡, 这, Peter. 这个汉堡, 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 这个杯子, 这个杯子。Good, Peter. 这个杯子。Good, 这个玩具。这个玩具。玩具。这个玩具。Good, Peter. 这个玩具。这个玩具。One more time. 这个玩具，玩具，玩具，玩具，玩具。啊，Sister，you know how how to say uh it's a wonderful word, wonderful, one, wonderful. It's no for one like a I won, I won the lottery. 这个玩具，I won. You see the one, it's like going up. Okay. Yeah, I can try it again. Uh, 这个玩具. <laughs> Good job. Good job. 玩具, yeah, sometimes you have to, uh, no, it, it's 
sometimes I will just have to think for you. What English word is good? Wonderful. Can you see? Wonderful. I All right. want. Yeah. Yeah, that helps. It's, it's good. Helps yeah. me. Thank you. Okay, and also um, I see that you don't have any problem with uh, so I was thinking to share with you in Korea, the capital is so, right? So, so, so that's the capital so. of Korea. I think Southern Korea. <laughs> yeah, South Korea. It's uh, so. so. So it's so it's so, so but it's going up so but you mm -hmm. have to make it a third sound so so okay good 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 okay now we go to the next one next one is very particular it's referred to a person respectfully um if you respect if you have a friend like a coworker that you respect very much. But even if you don't respect this friend, you can use the word way. That means this teacher. This is my friend. I respect my friend very much, so I use zhe wei peng you. Um, this police, this, uh, zhe wei jing cha or jing guan. So it's somebody that you want to uh, emphasize that you re refer them with a respectful attitude. Then you use wei. For example, zhe wei lao shi. 这位教授,这位朋友, this friend, 这位同学, this classmate. Sister Iris? Yes, uh, follow after me. 这位老师, Kang Ling. 这位老师, Good, Peter. 这位老师, good. 这位教授, 这位教授, Peter. 这位教授, Let's practice a little bit more. 这位朋友, 这位朋友, 朋友, yeah, 朋友, 朋友, 朋友,这位朋友. Oh, better, much better, Peter. 这位朋友. 朋友. 朋友. 朋, it's uh, going up. 朋. Okay. 朋. 有. 有. Oh, good. 这位朋友. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, let's do one more. 这位同学. 同学 means a classmate. Kang Ling. 这位同学. 同学, it should be 同学, right? Uh, uh, 这位同学. Mm, better, Peter. 这位同学，同学，同学，同学，同学，同学。Yeah, this Oh, better, much better now. Okay, okay. Good job. Thank you, Sister Iris. Thank you, you all. Now we move to the next one. Next one is uh, uh. 非洲, it's referred to a continent. For example, 我正在非洲度假. 我正在非洲度假. 
So to form a sentence, you would put, uh, we, I put Feizhou right here. Um, of course, you can also substitute other places, for example, uh, Hawaii and Taiwan. And you are in this place doing what? Vacationing, working. Mm -hmm. So um, here, this, this is how you use a sentence. Here's a little grammar. Where am I? I am in the place plus action. Unlike English, English put the place in the, in the end of the sentence. But here in Chinese, we put a place in the middle of the sentence and action in the back. 我正在夏威夷工作。我正在台湾工作。Sister Iris? Okay, let's start with the Feizhou first. 我正在非洲度假 Kangling 我正在非洲度假 非洲 非洲 我正在, One more time 我正在非洲度假 Good, good, Peter 我正在非洲 Oh, good. The next one, 我正在夏威夷工作. 我正在夏威夷工作. Peter. 我正在夏威夷工作. Good. 我正在台湾工作. 我正在台湾工作 Good, Peter 我正在台湾工作 台湾 台湾 我正在台湾工作 One more time 我正在台湾工作 uh, Sister Joanna, how to correct him? Like Taiwan, I think he, it's very close, but it's a little bit off instead of. Okay, uh, Peter. He goes can tai, can, tai, can, tai, can you say Tai Chi? Like Tai Chi. Tai Chi. Yes, so tai it's chi. the same word. Uh, oh, no, it's a little bit different. What about Taipei? Can you say Taipei? Taipei. Yeah, it's it's the same one, right, Sister Iris? Yes, similar. Taipei. Taipei. Uh, Taiwan. Can you say that one more time, Peter? Taiwan. Taiwan. A uh, little better. C can you say Taipei? Taipei. Yeah, Taipei and Taiwan. Taipei. Taiwan. Yeah, same. Yes, yes. Yeah, you okay. got it. Okay. So can you repeat one more time? 我正在台湾工作. 我正在台湾工作. That's close. That's close. That's close enough. <laughs> okay. So we are done on this slide? Mm hmm Okay, good, good. We move to the next one. Can, can you help them? I'll be right back. Okay, okay. So the next one is 正常, which is normal. So um, 正常, it's the same meaning as here. Remember we say 非常 is not normal. So normal, the complete phrase is called 正常. 正常, it means regular, ordinary, every day. Every day we wake up, it's the same thing. <laughs> okay. So, 我的血压正常, 我的血压正常. Um, you can also describe 我的工作正常. My work is very normal. Um, I, it doesn't fluctuate a lot. 
uh, I work in the same job in the past five to ten years. 我的工作正常. Next one, my work time. Here should be work time. My work mm -hmm. schedule. 我的工作时间正常. 我的工作时间正常. Of course, you can add 不正常. 不正常 means not. 我的工作不正常. If I'm on call, that means sometimes I get call, sometimes I don't work, sometimes I stay home, so my work is not normal. Or my schedule, sometimes it shifts a lot. So I will say 我的工作时间不正常. 我的工作时间不正常. So let me start from 我的血压正常. Kang Ling, can you repeat after me? 我的血压正常. 我的血压正常. Good. 血, this word 血. Third sound, 血. 血. Yes, yes, yes. 我的血压正常. Yes. Every, anytime when you use a third tone, sometimes you have to make it deep like an old lady or an old man. 我的血压正常. Good job, good job. And Peter? 我的血压正常. Xue, you, you make it going up. So Xue is the third intonation. Xue. Xue. Yeah, Xue, correct, Xue, correct. You can hear more vibration here. 我的血压正常. 血压, one more time, Peter. 我的血压正常. Uh, this one you did not say correctly. 血. Mm. Okay, let me try again. 我的血压正常. Oh, make, make this sound longer. 血压, 血, 血, 血压, 血压正常. 血压正常. Okay, good job. 我的血压正常. 我的血压正常. Okay, great, great. Next one. 我的工作不正常. Kang Ning, 我的工作不正常. 我的工作不正常. Good. And Peter? 我的工作不正常. Good job, good job. And then next one is uh, 我的工作时, 时, it's a third one, 时间不正常. 我的工作时间不正常. Kang Ning. 我的工作时间不正常. Good job, good job. And Peter? 我的工作时间不正常. Good, good, good. Yeah, good job, good job. So here, I, I, you see that is is being eliminated. Mm. You can see a lot of sentence. Um, this is being eliminated. Okay. Uh, so this is the word 正常. Okay, next one is uh, this two. I highlighted this two in green because uh, it has the same meaning. Let's see. It has the same meaning. For example, um, 我经常出去散步. 我 I use this word. 
Jing Chang. So as you can see, the definition here, Chang Chang and Jing Chang, they can use interchangeably. They are sort of like a synonym. So you can, I can say that 我 常常出去散步。我常常 is this one 出去散步。So this 常常 or 经常 is like an adverb. It's like adverb. So you want you can add verb after this. 我常常吃。I eat a lot. 我经常吃 Okay, we always we always eat a lot. So how if I want to add the time in the sentence, how do I add it? I can add it right here. I can add it right here, or I can add it right here. For example, 早上早上我经常出去散步 And if I put it right here, 我早上经常出去散步 Or I can put it right here, 我经常早上出去散步 So you can see, you can put a time here, here, or here. As I put it right here, it's the it's just to make it easier for you. So the time. You can put it anywhere in the sentence in the front, but we don't put it in the back. In English, we put the term in the back. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I usually go to temple in the weekend. I like to wash dishes after I go to restroom. So in English, the time is placed at the end of the sentence. But for Chinese, we like to put it in the front or stick it in the middle. Uh, Sis Iris, are you ready? Ah,、uh, yes. 我经常出去散步。我经常出去散步。Peter, 我经常出去散步 Okay, or 我经常早上出去散步我经常早上出去散步 Peter, 我经常早上出去散步 One more time. 我经常早上出去散步。One more time. 我经常早上出去散步。出去，出去，出去。Oh, good, good, good. Are we done here? Yes. Uh, uh, can we、uh, substitute this word too? 我常常，我常常早上出去散步。康林，我常常出去。呃 ，sorry。Yeah, listen to me。我经常，我常常早上出去散步。我常常早上。出去散步。Okay, let's do this one time. Like, 常常常常常呃常常常常常常。嗯，是是，觉得 how to correct him? It's not 常常 but it's 常常常常常常。I think oh, better now. Better now, yeah. So one more time. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the morning. I often go out for a walk in the mor
常常早上出去散步。Peter， 我常常早上出去散步。出去，出去，散步，散步。Good. You want to do that one more time? Okay. 我常常早上出去。散步 ，Good, good. Sister Joanna, you want to practice more or? Oh, I think this is good. This is good. Okay, now the the next one is still 常常 and 经常 So the difference is not that many, but um, if we really want to get to the detail, 常常 is often used as a slang. Like a more casual term, and this one, let's see, this one is a more common usage. So this one is more casual than this one. In other words, if you want to write a paragraph, you know how in English, if you want to write a document, we will use a more formal language. So in Chinese, this is a more formal language. This one is like you and I daily talk. What's up, do you will never say that in English? But in English, we say "How are you?" But in a casual way, we say "What's up?" So this is the casual, and this is the common term. Okay, so uh, it just this is sentence structure is very similar to the one previously. So here, to demonstrate how to use the sentence, we add the action in the back. For example, 早上 Oh, first of all, let's practice 早 If we if in the morning if we say if we see each other, we will say 早 Can you say it? 早早 Can anybody say 早早，早，是啊。所以 ，when when you say 早 ，that sound it's it's it sounds perfect. But a lot of time when it's in a sentence, the intonation is messed up. So if you don't, if you cannot say it confidently, try to practice the word 早 just by itself. Okay, 早上我经常 or 常常出去散步，喝咖啡，喝咖啡。Notice that this、uh, cafe it's it sounds similar than English. Cafe, coffee, cafe, and then walk the dog. 遛狗。Sister Iris, is this、uh, intonation correct? Because I got it from Google Translator. Yes, Liu Gou is correct. Liu, but this intonation is like the second one. Liu Gou. Oh, it should be Liu Gou. Here is Liu Gou with the fourth intonation. Uh, 早上我经常出去散步。喝咖啡 ，or 遛狗，遛狗 is the fourth intonation. 遛狗 So we can substitute uh 经常 with 常常 Keep in mind, this is a more of a casual and a slang, and this is a more formal term to use if you want to say often. Sister Iris. Yes, you want to practice all.、Um, yes, please. Okay. Uh, 我 you want to do the 遛狗 or all of them or 喝咖啡 It should be all of them. Okay. 我经常啊，早上我经常。喝咖啡
coming. Yeah, sorry. Zhao. Zhao Sang, Wo Jing Chang, He Cafe. Zhao Sang, Zhao Jing Chang. Zhao Sang, Wo. Zhao Sang, Wo Jing Chang, He Cafe. Zhao Sang, Wo Jing Chang, He Cafe. Do this, Jing Chang. Chang. Jing Let me break it down. Uh, 早上, I think you're okay with Zhao Sang. Wo Jing Chang. Wo Jing Chang. He Cafe. He Cafe. Okay, good. Zhao Sang. Wo Jing Chang. He Cafe. Zhao Sang. Wo Jing Chang. Her cafe. Good, Peter. Zhao Sang, Wo Jing Chang, Her cafe. Good, Cleopatra. You wanna practice? You wanna unmute your microphone? Sorry, can you unmute? Okay. Yes. Zhao Shan Wo Chang Chang. Hey, cafe. Zhao Sang, Wo Jing Chang, He Cafe. One more time. Zhao Sang, Wo Jing Chang, Chu He Cafe. He Cafe. He Cafe. Okay, good. Uh, Zhao Sang, Wo Jing Chang, Chu San Bu. Zhao Sang, Wo Jing Chang. Chu Okay, good. Peter. Um Zhao Sang Wo Jing Chang Chu Chu Sambu. Chu 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 Chu. Chu Chu. Chu Chu. Sam Bu. Sam Bu. Follow after me. Zhao Sang. Wo Jing Chang. Chu Chu. Sam Bu. Zhao Sang. Wo Jing Chang. Chu Chu. Sam Bu. Oh, okay. Good. Uh, Zhao Sang. Wo Jing Chang. Chu Chu. Liu Gou. Kang Ling. Okay, good. Peter. Tao Sang Wo Jing Chang Chu Chu Sambu. Oh, Tao Sang Wo Jing Chang Chu Chu Liu Go. It's walk the dog. Oh. Let me try again. Zhao Sang Wo Jing Chang Chu Chu Liu Go. Oh, good, good. Cleopatra. Zhao Sang Wo Jing Chang Chu Chu Liu Go. Zhao Sang Wo Jing Chang Chu Chu Liu Go. One more time. Zhao Sang Wo Jing Chang Chu Chi. Liu Go. Oh, good, good. Sister Joanna, they're doing very good. Okay, very good, on very this good. Slide. Okay, so in the next slide, we will do a break room. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so can, can you use the time while I go over this? Can you use the time to set up your uh, PowerPoint? Oh, oh okay. Uh... Okay, so the next one is still include this two. Chang Chang Jing Chang and and I add another one, Ping Chang. So the word to use the way to use Ping Chang is when you want to use in an assertive tone. For example, uh, that it's more formal than the common. For example, you are talking to a police. 
the police say, or you talk to a, a detective, what time do you usually go for a walk? You say, 我平常下午两点出去散步. So you want to, uh, you want to express the, the time that you always go out um, in this time, this is your routine in the assertive tone. So when would you want to use the assertive tone? That's when you are in a courtroom talking to a higher authority. Somebody say commit a crime and you are no witness. And this is a very, uh, this is a very assertive tone. So definitely it's different let me get my cursor. So definitely it's different than Chang Chang. So Chang Chang is a very casual, very um, uh, a casual in a slang term, but this one is a very assertive one. And Jing Chang is fall into the middle. Um, okay, so Hi. the way to form the sentence is 我 经常, 我经常, uh, we can also say 我常常, 我平常. So if you are not talking to a judge, talking to a police, talking to a detective, it's okay, you can still use this. But when the time is needed, then you use this one. So this is a more, a very formal way to use it. 我常常, 下午两点出去散步 我常常下午两点出去散步, 我平常下午两点出去散步. Notice that in the previous slide, I put 早上, you see right here. So this one, same thing. Um, this is a, this represent the timing. Um, so this two o'clock, I can, uh, yeah, so you can put it here, but uh, because uh, sometimes when we express our sentence, we want to say in the afternoon, what time? So, um, and in English, we tend to put the timing in the back, but in Chinese, again, we put it in the middle, middle of the sentence. 我平常下午两点出去散步. Uh, So the Jin Chang, Chang Chang, and the Ping Chang can also describe um, what time we usually get up in the morning. 我经常早上六点起床. So notice that I put morning and afternoon first, and then I put the time in the back. 我 Jing if I want to say evening, Wan Sang Fan. Yeah, so so this is how you uh, structure the sentence. Again, you can put Zhao Sang in the in the front of the sentence too. So let's just uh, practice what we have here. Wo Chang Chang Zhao Sang Liu Dian Chi Chuang Wo 平常早上六点起床。谢谢大家. So this slide is uh, for me to say, 谢谢大家. So when we learn Chinese, we need to learn 请, that's please. 请, 谢谢. And 对不起. <laughs> so we learn uh, 谢谢 here. 谢谢大家. 大家. 
谢谢大家 ，Can Can you repeat after me？ 谢谢大家，谢谢大家 ，Peter， 谢谢大家。Good Good， and next one we will practice this one. See Cyrus， <laughs> 再见，再见，再见，再见 ，Peter， 再见。Peter, 再见。再见 yeah.